What is going on guys, JT Judgment here and I am back today guys with another player review. Today we're going to be looking at the very first man of the match player that I do a review on and we're going to be looking at Swansea's Nathan Dyer. Card face stats are guys, 93 pace, 84 dribbling and 73 shooting. 70 passing, 46 defending and 48 heading. So card face stats are pretty decent, let's see if his in game stats are just as good. So his key st skill attributes, guys, are his 86 ball control, 87 dribbling, 89 finishing, 83 in long shots, and 87 shot power. So the key areas that you need him to have good, uh, good stats in, he has got them, guys. Uh, his player information, obviously, he is he is right-footed. He has got high attacking work rate, medium defensive work rate, three star weak foot, and four star skills. We'll have a look at his physical attributes now, guys, and this is where it gets good. I mean, pace-wise, you you won't have a problem with him. Uh, very, very quick off the mark. The most disappointing uh, aspect of his physical attributes, though, guys, is his strength. I mean, when it comes to strength, he only has 55. That is a big, big letdown. I mean, the guy is only five foot five tall so you really can't expect him to have the most strength but guys it really does feel we he really does feel weak in game and that is one of the things that i really really do hate about him so let's have a look at the, the uh, what nathan dyer is like does he play well in game well the first thing you guys will notice about him is his pace i mean he is very fast you give him a little bit of space and he is gone and once he's gone there is no catching up to him i think he's one of the fastest right wingers in the premier league so you know rightfully so he is very 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 quick another thing i noticed was his dribbling for 84 dribbling guys his dribbling seemed really really good the ball was always close to his feet and i had a lot of fun you know using the rt dribble he seemed to do that well and just generally moving the left stick and just dribbling in and out of players seemed a lot of fun as well so very very good dribbling his long shots as you saw there um i know he brought the keeper out but it was on target um, I was surprised by his long shots. Obvi and unfortunately, I didn't score as many as I took. But guys, I took a load of long shots. I scored a couple. I challenged uh, the keeper on probably 90% of them. So long shots with him are pretty decent. I think the only aspect of his shooting that I didn't like was his finesse shots. Uh, when it came to finesse shots, it, he, he pretty much just failed, guys. Um, so we'll move on to my final thoughts on Man of the Match Dyer. Uh, we'll go through his strengths first, guys. Uh, as I said earlier, he is very, very fast. Once you give him space, he is gone. Great dribbling for 84. Um, as I said, he always keeps the ball close to his feet, and you will have a lot of fun dribbling with him. He seems like a very, very good dribbler. Great long shots and decent finishing, guys. Probably 50% of the chances I got with him, he uh, either finished or challenged the keeper. Even though he's got 89 finishing, didn't seem that good in game, though, guys. So, decent is the best uh, grade I can give him. And then we'll move on to his weaknesses, guys. Obviously, he is only five foot five tall, so he is very weak and he is very poor in the air. Those do affect him a lot in game. I mean, whenever I got him on the ball and, you know, it was one-on-one, -on -one, if I did manage to get past them and they somehow managed to catch up, all my opponent had to do was press the B button or the circle button once and he would just, you know, just fall off the ball. It was ridiculous. It was really ridiculous how weak he was in game. Uh, poor passing for me, that 70 passing stat was a bit of a letdown. Every time I tried to pass, like I said, I was forced to run up the wing so many times because every time I tried to pass it, he just failed. Give it away straight away, and that was very frustrating after a while. That three-star weak foot felt like two-star weak foot. Um, I did score one weak foot with him. I did score one goal using his weak foot, sorry, uh, but that was the only opportunity that I had that I took with his weak foot. His weak foot seemed really bad, guys, so um, I'd avoid using his weak foot all the time. And is he worth it? My opinion, no. I mean, being a Swansea fan, guys, I really wanted to say he was worth it, but guys, for 160,000 coins, I really, really do not feel like I'm getting enough. You know, if I spend 160k, I expect more, guys.
But that was my review on Man of the Match, Nathan Dyer. I hope you enjoyed. Please leave a like on this video if you did enjoy. And subscribe if you enjoy my videos. And I will see you guys in the next video. Ta-da, guys.